Hey YouTubers. Well, we're out on the farm. It's cold. It's towards the end of November. And uh, this thing, I don't know. I tore down that old corn crib because I couldn't think of anything to do with it. Uh, but this building, you know, it's one of those... Well, after tearing down that corn crib and realizing what a big job that is, uh, kind of got <laughs> rid of the fever for tearing down buildings. So I started to think a little more seriously what I could do with this. What is this thing? Uh, this is where hay bales were stored. It was built sometime in the probably the mid-1950s by the owner. Now the owner built stuff out of anything he could find. Um, you know, he would just cut up whatever he could find and, and weld it all together. So what you see in this thing, when you first look, it looks kind of normal. But then all you see is, it's just, it's pipe and fence posts and nothing is really straight and square. Uh, if you look down here, you can see a big gap right here to that support pipe underneath. So there's this kind of long support, and then the vertical. And then as you go down, and down and down, the two just kind of come together. And then eventually, down here, this horizontal support is kind of welded to and going through the vertical support and down there. You know, nothing here is straight, square, or plumb. That's one thing I've learned. So you just kind of go with it. But uh, this thing is solid. I don't know what you can see underneath, but there's loads and loads of supports under here. It isn't going anywhere, and that's all concreted down. Um, and so one of the owners uh, used to stack hay bales in here. It's about, I don't know, 10 feet high inside, and it's a uh, 15 by 25 footprint. He built this thing to last. You can see all of these cross supports and everything. This building does not move, ever. I will tell you that. There's a couple problems with it. One, you notice all the rust. Two, you can see the floor is in really rough shape. I've already fallen through twice today, which I really don't like. It's all rotted out. And, uh, yeah, here's, here's another thing. I don't know what this was. This was like a poker or something. You can see the handhold up there, and that's just welded in over here. There are no two parts of this thing that are alike. I will tell you that. Um, and then if we go around to here, it's a little rough in here. Down here, this support pipe just completely rusted away. It just doesn't exist over here. Um, there's a little remnant of it kind of leaning down to the ground. And uh, here you can see, you know, part of what's left. It's just, there's nothing there anymore. I don't know why that section rusted away. You must have had something sitting there that was salt or something, and it dripped down. The rest of it is fine. It's solid. Oops, sorry, I'm shaking the camera around a lot. But it's solid. Right, except that little section there. So what am I going to do with this thing? Well, I'm going to replace the floor right here and enclose it and use it for a storage shed. Um, I'm not totally sure how I'm going to do all this. I'm just going to kind of do this on the fly. But the first job has been clearing it out, and that's mostly done except this very old, uh, oh man, this old thing, Montgomery Ward Garden Rotivator. Looks like 1970s vintage to me. Uh, an old propane stove and a barrel, and I think that's a fuel tank down there, a small one. I don't know what it is. And a whole bunch of bricks that are 
Well, they're off in the field over there. Um, I already took those out. So, started tearing this apart. I'm going to take the floor up first and then put new flooring down. It's not going to be quite as sturdy as this because, well, I'm not Bobby. <laughs> God, that guy built to last. Oh man, you wouldn't believe some of these buildings. Uh, he was not shy about putting in steel or concrete on anything. And everything's just kind of kind of thrown together. You know, it's hard to see, but if you look up in here, there's shims, let's see, in the trusses, like right about there. Um, nothing is quite straight, square, or the same. Um, you know, I don't know what his deal was, but I think he was more of an artist than an engineer. Uh, so, so first job, clear this out, which is almost done. Second job, take up this floor and burn it. And then the third job will be put a new floor down, put a new roof in, kind of seal it up, get a door on it, some windows so I can get some light in it, and uh, have, a, have a storage shed. Nice thing is, you know, it's off the ground, and that should help with keeping it a little warmer and drier in here. Um, the bad thing is the position. It's down this hill. It doesn't look like much of a hill, but in the wintertime when it's icy, it's a nasty hill. Uh, but hey, I'll just uh, store stuff that I use in the summer in here, so no big problem. Yeah, okay, so that's one of the jobs. Uh, hopefully I'll update this as it goes along and show you what's what's happening. Adios.